Do you want to learn how to write fiction? Don't let anyone talk you out of writing that book in your head. It's not easy, but I guarantee you can do it. I'm just a regular dude, and I've written over 40 books already. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to learn the craft of fiction in 10 secrets they don't teach you in school. What's up guys? My name is Michael Aran with Author Level Up, helping you write world-class stories. This video is part of my How to Write Fiction for Beginner series. Now, I suspect you're here because you want to be a writer, right? Maybe you read a book that was so good that you wanted to create the same experience. Or maybe you're sick, so sick of your job because, let's face it, life's too short to put up with a bad job, right? So, tip number one I have for you is to develop discipline. Nothing I say in this video will help you if you don't have that inner fire or that inner drive. Discipline is not always easy to, to create or come up with or to do, but it's so critically important if you want to be successful as a writer. So what I recommend is that you develop a learning plan. So you figure out all the things that you don't know, and then you create um, a learning plan, and you list out all the different elements that you need to learn, and then one by one, go and learn it. And you'll be amazed at how quickly you learn and how fast you grow by doing that. So again, that's one of the tips that I've recommended to do learning plans. And if you haven't seen my video on that, be sure to watch my other video on learning plans to help you get started. The key here is that if you don't learn, you'll become complacent. Tip number two is to read the works of bestsellers religiously. Stephen King has a famous saying, and it's that if you don't have the time to read, then you don't have the time or tools to write. It's as simple as that. And it's so true. Reading is how you get that influx of ideas into your mind to help you create new stories and, and prevent writer's block. And if you don't read, then you're just, you're just letting your mind lay fallow, and, and you don't want that. So what I have found that has worked for me is to read the works of the mega bestsellers. So Stephen King, Nora Roberts, John Grisham, you know, that style of, of writer, and then also the ones that are bestselling and the genres that I'm writing in, and then study them, figure out how they break things down. Because let's face it, you can learn a lot from someone who has sold 100 million books. If they sold that many books, they're doing something right. So pay very close attention to how they write their stories. Tip number three is the writer's rule of thirds. Now, this is a rule of thumb that I've developed to help you really understand story. It's a basic framework that will teach you everything you need to know about story and help you give, give you a structure so that when you're writing, you always know what you need to be writing next. The rule of thumb is this. Every book has a beginning, middle, and end. Every chapter has a beginning, middle, and end. And every section of every chapter consists of only three building blocks, dialogue, narrative, and action, DNA for short. So this sounds probably self-explanatory, right? What do you do with it? Well, when you're studying the work of bestsellers, study how they open, sustain the middles of their books, and how they end their books. Study how they open their chapters, how they sustain their chapters, how they end their chapters. Study the techniques, specific techniques that they're using to keep you on the page with dialogue, with narrative, and with action. And so then when you're writing your books, those are the building blocks that you'll be using to write your book as well. Tip number four is to find the right writing app. Now you guys know I love writing apps here on this channel. They're, they're my favorite, and I say it till I blue in the face, and I'll continue to say it until the universe ends, and that is that your writing app is your most important investment in your writing career. Nothing comes above it. I liken it to the samurai and his sword. Samurai is nothing without his sword, right? The right writing app also helps you write better and focus more and it stays out of your way so that you can just simply focus on the writing and let the app take care of the heavy lifting. Now you guys know that the app I recommend is Scrivener and I've done plenty of Scrivener videos here on this channel for writing fiction so be sure to check my Scrivener Essentials playlist if you haven't seen it already. It'll teach you everything you need to know about Scrivener as well as a video that will help you get up and running with the app in 20 minutes or less. And if you're wanting to take your Scrivener knowledge to the next level, I recommend Joseph Michael's Learn Scrivener Fast course. This is the course that I've taken, and it's the one that I recommend because <laughs> it helped me become a Scrivener ninja overnight. <laughs> so if you're wanting to take your Scrivener knowledge to the next level, I highly recommend his course. So check the video description for an affiliate link. 
Tip number five is to read writing books. Now, this one needs no introduction, right? It's the one you're probably expecting me to say, and that's because it's the classic way of learning the craft. Writing books are helpful because, one, there's plenty of them out there. Two, they've just become very popular, um, f a popular way for writers to learn the craft. And three, there are some very solid techniques in them. The cons of writing books is that while there are a lot of choices, there are some subpar choices or choices that may not work best for you. So, so remember on this channel, I talk all the time about advice. Everybody gives advice freely. It's not always bad, but there are three types of advice. There's advice that's meant for you, there's advice that's not meant for you, and there's advice that you're not ready for yet. The best thing I can offer to you is to develop a BS detector to filter through all that advice and make sure that you're only listening to advice that is meant for you. Now, another thing I want to talk about with writing books is that you want to pay attention to the writer themselves. What's their career like? What's their trajectory? Be sure to look at the writer's background, look at what they've done, and make sure that they're a writer that you want to be down the road. You know, you want, really want to pay attention to that because you don't want to learn from, from people that haven't written books. <laughs> you know, that, those are the worst writing books coaches out there that you can read from. Read from writers who are actually actively publishing because they can probably give you better insights. Tip number six is writing blogs. Now blogs are great because they're free resources. There are lots of really good writing blogs out there and they all provide advice that will help you write more engaging fiction, help you figure out what to do next, um, and help you solve common problems that you may come across in your manuscript. Again, they're useful because they're free, but just remember to do your research on the background of the person that's writing and just to make sure that they're a good fit for you. Tip number seven is writing podcasts. This is my favorite way to consume content, and podcasts are great because you can listen to them while you're at the gym, while you're driving to and from work, while you're doing chores, you name it, you, you can multitask while you're doing podcasts, and that's the best part about them in my opinion. Another great part about podcasts is that you know, there, there's often interviews with other writers. There is often you know two or three people on a podcast talking about how they approach the writing craft. And I found that it's always very helpful to just understand how other people are doing it. And podcasts are a great way to consume that. I got my start listening to podcasts. And some of the most Im important and effective podcasts that I have, I've ever listened to that have helped me with my writing craft and my writing career were podcasts that weren't about writing. So I listen to a lot of business shows. I listen to a lot of shows on entrepreneurship. I listen to a lot of shows on um, works by other artists, like musicians and things like that, because I find that that helps me come back to the craft with a, a newer and a fresher perspective. Tip number eight is writing YouTube channels. So there are lots of YouTubers just like me on YouTube who publish really great videos every week, all with the goal of helping you write better or publish better or you know market your books better. There are lots of great YouTube videos out there. And honestly, right now has never been a better time to subscribe to a YouTube writer because there are lots of them out there. And when I say that there are lots of them out there, there are less of them out there than blogs or podcasts, but there are enough out there that offer a lot of different variety that you can subscribe to a lot of YouTubers and, and never be able to watch all their videos. <laughs> I found that video is one of the best ways to learn because you're actually seeing it. So it, it's kind of an answer to the world's most interesting problem, right? How do you make the craft of writing visual? Well, seeing how someone else does it, seeing their screen and how they use their writing app or or watching them as they outline their process, all of that stuff is really effective and it's an extremely effective way to help you learn. Check the video description for a list of my favorite writing YouTubers and be sure to go and subscribe to their channels. And just for good measure, I'll also throw um, a, a list of my, my top favorite writing books in the video description as well, so you can go and check those out too. Tip number nine is writing courses and conferences. Now, <laughs> I recognize that not all of you are going to be able to actively travel, either because of expense or because of time, or, or maybe it's a mixture of both. But the truth is that there are a lot of really good conferences online, too. So there are lots of free conferences where they require nothing but your email address, and you can 
give them your email address, sign up, and get access to hours of really good content and interviews with authors and, and all sorts of things. So the example, one of the examples that I'm referring to is um, the Alliance of Independent Authors. They have a self-publishing conference, and it's, it's usually every quarter. And it's 24 hours of content, so 24 different speakers, 24 different interviews, and it's all free. All you have to do is just sign up with your email address. And that's a really great way to learn because what they do is they bring in experts from all spectrums of the industry to talk about things like marketing your book, how to write better, how to write better thrillers, you know, all kinds of stuff to, to really help you learn the craft of writing at no cost to you. I'll drop a link to the last self-publishing conference and you can go check it out and see what I'm talking about. So if you're willing to spend some money, I, I recommend WMG Workshops. And this, these are run by Dean Wesley Smith and Christine Catherine Rush. You guys know that I talk about their courses all the time on this channel. And I've personally taken them and personally would recommend all of them. And they are courses that help you really hone in on the craft of fiction. And they teach you techniques that, honestly, I have never seen anywhere else. And they have made a huge difference in my fiction. And of course, I, I would be remiss to not recommend writing conferences, right? So traveling to a different conference and, and getting to meet other writers and other industry influencers face-to-face, -face, that is the fastest way to network, fastest way to learn, fastest way to uh, get access to different collaboration events and things that maybe you wouldn't have been considered for otherwise. So I found that traveling is worth the expense. And tip number 10 is to have fun, right? So all the stuff that I talk about in this, in this video, you, know, you can do and you can become overwhelmed with it. You can simply become overwhelmed by just looking at all the different writing podcasts out there. But the key is to pace yourself and to remember to have fun. Right, because if you're not having fun, if you're not enjoying this, then, then why would your readers enjoy it? So take a, a fun-like approach to learning the craft. Don't let yourself get overwhelmed. Don't let yourself get frustrated. Just focus on learning one element at a time and remember that you're going to become much better after everything that you learn. And after you publish more books and get more comfortable with the process and get more comfortable with your voice and you're really showing up and writing engaging fiction, there's, this is nothing but fun. <laughs> so no matter what you do, always have fun. I want to let you guys know that this video has been sponsored by my book, How to Write Your First Novel. It is a step-by-step -step guide to the process of writing fiction. So if you've never written a book before, I'm going to hold your hand and I'm going to walk you through every part of the process. And, and when I say that, you guys know I'm a nitty-gritty kind of guy. We're going to get nitty-gritty in the book. So if you don't know what to write in your first sentence, I'm going to give you a formula for that. If you don't know what to write in your first chapter, I'm going to give you a formula for that. I'm going to give you really effective tips and strategies to make it through that murky middle because everyone hates middles. <laughs> so we're going to we're going to help you through that and then I'm going to teach you some other techniques that are going to help you show up to the page with your A game. So if you haven't checked it out, be sure to check out the video description for a link because it's the next book that you need to buy. And even if you're not a first-time novelist, there will be tips in there that will help you write more engaging fiction as well. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell if you want notifications from me because a lot of people subscribe to my channel, but they don't always get notifications. So if you want notifications when I get a new video, click that little bell too. So see you guys next time.